you guys are going to get to help be a part of that reintroduction process by naming these individuals. So it's pretty exciting. So I'm really excited to see all the names that you guys came up with. In Mrs. Wine's fifth grade classroom recently, 21 students were hard at work drawing pictures of Ala La, the Hawaiian crow that's been extinct in the wild for nearly two decades. You can put your name at the very top where it says name here in your best writing, copy the name that you chose, a Hawaiian name. Their drawings are part of their assignment to come up with Hawaiian names for the next set of 12 birds scheduled to be released and later this year. Do you guys have any questions for yeah. us? Yeah. About the birds or? You guys got to learn all about them last year, right? With the mural? Uh, I heard that some were released, but they didn't do too well. The students attend Connections Public Charter School. Rachel Kingsley, Education and Outreach Associate for the Alala Project says this class was chosen to participate in this activity because of their connection to the Alala. The class has been studying the behavior and biology of Alala for two consecutive school years. Kingsley adds it's exciting that they have such a connection to the birds and really want to be involved. A year and a half ago they helped renowned artist Patrick Ching paint an Alala mural on the back of their school building in downtown Hilo. In April, the students will visit the San Diego Zoo Global's Keoho Bird Conservation Center on Hawaii Island, where more than 125 alala are housed for conservation breeding under the Hawaii Endangered Bird Conservation Program. Conservation efforts for the alala have been underway since 2002, when the last pair was observed in the wild and became extinct. Two releases last year into the state of Hawaii's Pu'u Maka'ala Natural Area Reserve has resulted in 11 birds thriving, foraging for native foods, expanding their range, and taking evasive action toward their only natural predator, the endangered eo, or native Hawaiian hawk. These themes are captured in the students' work and in the names that were selected for a community online voting process occurring from April 9th through the 14th. I chose Mea Ho'omalu Ulu because it means forest protector and alala protect the forest with their loud voice and their proud shadow above the forests. Justin Pomone said his name for an alala is Ulu. My word is Ulu, it's inspire. And then I wrote the alala inspires me because it teaches me to take care of nature and wildlife. They are also survivors. Kala Al La Al is the name Ezra Holton came up with. And I picked the name is Ka, Ka Alao Alao. I picked his name because it might be better at gave worms and broke out the tree and hose. Alala have been seen using sticks to extract these food items from trees. They're highly intelligent, and that's the reason Cassia Ledward came up with her name. I chose Na Alao, which means intelligent because the Alala species is so smart and they know how to turn items. Nature gives them into resources to get food and make nests. I think a modern day person won't be able to do that. So the native fruits of the forest. But they would also On the day the students like revealed their name choices, the Alala Project team met with them to talk more about these remarkable birds. The status of the 11 now out in the forest, the future of the release program, and what they can do in the future to better ensure species protection and reintroduction success. As the Alala return to their native habitat, it is critical that land managers, scientists, and the community work together to ensure that the birds have the space, environment, and support they need to thrive. Teacher Kate Wine says the students are very engaged with the Alala, which is a wonderful learning experience now and for the future, as they will help lead the way, if not as conservationists, but as citizens who have the fate and well-being of all creatures at heart.